Hello there guys, TakeitPH here and today I'm gonna show you how to cascade two routers to your home network. So, what's a cascade? It's basically adding another router to your current one. So, why do we cascade? Um, to boost coverage or to upgrade something from the old router without removing it. Like in like what I did, I upgraded my Wi-Fi from N150 to N300, okay, which is a huge upgrade for us after being stuck to N150 for years. Yes, I know, I cannot afford to buy an N750 or whatever, or even an AC router just yet, but I'm still finding it, and also. This router has something special in it. It's basically running a DDWRT, so I cannot remove this on my network. This one's to run stock firmware from Tenda. It's Tenda N300 version 3, by the way. It's TP Link TLWR740N version 2. It's running DDWRT, so I cannot remove this router from our network. So I just upgraded Wi Fi, disabled Wi Fi on this router. And use Wi-Fi on this and it's a huge upgrade for us so what I'm going to show you today how to do the two kinds of cascade routers first of all land to land which what I did here land to land it com just combines network two routers into one network even you're on a different network or I mean even you're on a different router you can see each other even on your tongue. You're using different routers. Or LAN to WAN, which splits up the network. Which basically, if you're here, you cannot communicate anyone on here. The if you're LAN to LAN, you can. If you're here, you can communicate here. Anywhere, anyone in this network connected to this router, you can communicate here, and vice versa. But WAN to WAN, LAN to WAN. Only here you can talk to each other and you cannot talk here. So that's why I'm gonna show you how. Now for a land to one configuration, this is what we're going to do. Now let's say your main router's IP address is 192.168.1.1. In my case I did 115.32.48.1. Set your connect your secondary router and set it to 15 to 32.49.1 and also enable the HCP server. Then after that, reboot. Yes, I know it's translated because I bought this router from China. Now to the router. Now connect your LAN cable to any of the LAN ports of your main router to the other end which connects to the WAN port of your secondary router which in my case here. There. Now back to PC. If you did everything correctly should have internet access now let's do a ping to google ping google.com and it should have some response see there's a response hmm. so make sure the internet works fine And it works. To do a LAN to LAN configuration, here's what we're going to do. If your main router's IP address is something like 192.168.1.1, but in my case 15.32.48.1, we're gonna change it to the secondary router. Here's something we're gonna do. Set it to 15.38.48.2 Yeah, 
if your main router's IP address is 192.168.1.1, set your secondary router to 192.168.1.2, and also disable DHCP server because we want the primary router to manage the sec the DHCP. So confirm and reboot. Now to the router. Now connect a LAN cable to your main router. Then now connect the other end to any LAN ports of your secondary router. Do not connect to one. That's what it gets set up. If you did everything correctly, now we should have connection to the internet. Now let's try to ping Google again. Ping Google the com and we should have again response. See it works. Just to prove it works. Let's see. Chew.com. And it works. So yay. Now for LAN to LAN configuration and if, if like it like I did, if you want to disable wireless, just disable wireless on your main router and you should be fine. But you can just leave it enabled if you want to. Just don't use the same SSID. I hope that helps you, you got everyone. So like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, leave a comment down below and please share this video to your friends if this helps you a lot. This is Techie PH signing out. Adios.